Hey, do you mind if I ask my kids what they think? Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'll I, take all the counsel. Okay, yeah. hold on a second, hold on. Okay, you guys, so here's some friends of ours. They're they're trying to, they're doing foster to adopt. Okay, hey. What's up? So, um, they're, they're trying to foster adopt, and they have an 11-year-old boy that keeps telling them that he's going to hurt them, he doesn't want to be there, he hates them, um, that he's going to, you know, blow up the place, and he's going to hurt his wife, you know. Us. <laughs> so, but they're kind of like, you know, what do we do, Todd? What do we do? You know, do we, you know, he doesn't want to be with us. Do we let him go back? No. 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 Wait, what did, I need to know what happened. Like, what's wrong with his parents? Like, are they, like, breaking down or something? Yeah, his rights are taken away. Yeah, well, they need to tell them. You, you shouldn't, like, return him back. Like, it's, like, it's really... It's not really a good place to be in the foster here. I mean, they don't even treat you right. No love. Especially in the RTC. They just, like, like to drug you up, and it's not good. Well, they're yeah. they're afraid that he's going to actually hurt them. I didn't hurt you. Yeah, no, no. Okay, this is what, how we do it. I thought I was going to kill Dad, but they never do it. They're just scared. Like, you'll tell them that to push them away. Like, you don't want to be loved. You have to show him that he can trust you. Scared. He'll be yeah, scared. I was scared, scared for, like, the first two years. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, are you scared now? No. Well, because you're boss. you got to show him who's boss. <laughs> well, did you want to kill me? Yeah. The first year. <laughs> That's Chloe. So. Okay. So, um, she's admitting that she did want to kill me. She actually had a plan to kill me. No, Sandy had a plan to beat mom up. Um, so, the kids, you know, the kids' opinion is, is that, hey, he's just scared. And, um, you know, don't give up on him. You know, like, they're glad we didn't give up on him, you know. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't find out till about, I don't know, a few months ago that, you know, Chloe actually had a plan to poison me. You know, I don't know, man. Uh, all the kids were like, no, 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 don't, don't give up on them. Yeah, I, I understand, man. I, I understand completely, you know. Is he asleep? Right now, yes. Okay. So tomorrow, do you think I'll be able to talk to him? Would he oh, let you? you? want to talk to him? Yeah. Would, would you, you? Oh, you want to talk? Yeah, I don't have a problem with with you talking to him. Absolutely. I think my opinion is don't send him back. That is my one biggest thing because I was in the orphanage and when I was there, there's no love. There's like they just like give you pills and like the school and pills. That's like basically the orphanage. You need to keep him whether he likes it or not. Because believe me, when I first came to this house. I hated dad. He, uh, he was, I was totally against him. But then as years went by, I knew that he was going to be the boss and then I calmed down. My biggest thing is, if he, if he talks to you like that, he thinks he's boss. You need to show him who's boss. Like he's scared and everything. You need to let him know that you can trust him and that you're boss. Well, I, I appreciate your counsel, Chloe. It means a lot. Okay. Maybe I can talk to him sometime. But like I said, my, my biggest concern right now is just the safety of my wife. It's not even the hardship, you know, um, we're called to do that. we got to go through that. You know, I, I am totally okay with that. Um, but I'm just concerned for my, my wife's well-being at this point. I have to tell you this. If he threatens you, don't believe him. He's not going to touch her. He's too scared to. I said the same thing, like, I threatened Dad. But I was too scared to because I knew he was bigger than me. Is your wife taller than him, or is she ta or is he taller than her? He's saying it because he 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 wants to go to the bachelor court. I did that a lot. He, it's he's probably very manipulative. That's what my yeah. mom calls me. Yeah, I definitely think if I give him a couple calls, like say I call him every other day for like a whole month, I may I may be able to talk him to do better because. Um, does, does he have a therapist? Does he have a what? A therapist. Um, 
he does, he's been going to a few meetings, but it hasn't been that often, quite honestly. Okay, so if you get a home therapist, there's usually, like, physical therapists that are, like, will play games with you. I had one of those, and she would, like, talk to you gently about your past. And she tried to help you look at it in, like, a Christian way. And so I had one of those, and that helped me a lot. And um, that might be good for him. But I, I think that as I give him a couple of calls, that I may be able to, like, talk to him. Yeah, I remember when I was, like, well, Mom and, Mom and Dad got me, like, eight. So it was, it was, I was very much trouble. Like, I think I was worse than him, actually. Like, I would think about, like, killing Dad or, like, poisoning Mom or, like, stuff like that. And then, um, I mean, and then I, because I always thought that Mom will rescue me. Mom will come for me. But then as months and years went by, I finally gave up and said, I guess these are my new parents now. But like I said, if I give him a couple of calls and tell him about my story um, and tell him, like, what happened, I may be able to, like, tell him it's all right and I that your mom is probably not going to, like, get you back and that you're going to have to, like, give your loyalty to your mom and dad. Because yeah, that's what my um, therapist told me. My family, my mom left me for pills and men. So I I think I'll be able to relate to him a lot actually because I my, my th the first takeaway was that I was three years old and they took me away from her and then I didn't see her till eight years old and then they took me away from her again and overall I've gone through like twenty five foster homes and like three orphanages so and then it took me a very long time to have trust and loyalty from mom and dad because I knew. Well, they're just going to give up on me. So, you know, actually, he might think that, like, from the giving up on foster homes, he may think you're going to give up on him. Like, if he does something wrong, you're going to snap and say, I'm sending you back. Yeah, um, you should tell him, if you tell the truth, you will get in less trouble. But if you lie, the punishment's bigger. I said, we need to work through that. And he's like, he's like, I don't want to work through it. Um just screaming at me, getting, you know, belligerent. Um, yeah, because he's used to it from his mom. you got to tell him, we're not going to be like that towards you because we're not your mom. We're, um, what's your name? Chris. Seth? And my wife, yep, Chris, and my wife's name is Brittany. Yeah, you got to say, we're not your mom. We're Seth and your wife. And um, you got to tell him, we're not going to treat you the way your mom did. We have... We have the power to keep you, and we're going to keep you. I, I don't think you should send him back. Because even if it gets harder and harder, you should always keep trying. Because once you send him back, he's going to go to pills. Yeah, so I I'm a, I might send him a few letters. I'm going to ask my dad, and we can make calls and letters. But I'll definitely be able, I'll be, I'll definitely be able to send him letters and take calls from him. Well, just so you know, he'll say stuff like that, but just don't believe him. He's not going to touch her. And even if he does, he, he'll be too scared to, like, actually, like, physically, like, make her, like, break something. He, he might threaten her and, like, put his fist up, but he's not going to hit her. Because he knows that once he hits her, that he's done for. I knew that if I hit Dad, it would be for real consequences. And so... He might say, oh, I'm going to kill you or blow the house up. But how would he blow the house up? He needs to think out stuff like that. He will not do that. He's just scared. He's scared and he's, and he's he feels very vulnerable. Yeah. When I first came to dad, this this place, to the bullets, I, I felt very vulnerable. Like, I always thought that something was going to hurt me because where I, where the place where I live, like you said, he roamed freely and basically had to, like, find food for himself. That was basically me. Like, I basically lived off potato chips. I always, like, knew that, oh, they're going to give up on me. But uh, they never did. Always keep trying. And once he sees that you're not going to give up on him, he'll be like, wow, they actually care about me. And so you have to tell him, 
we are not going to give up on you because we love you. And then you always have to tell him, if we didn't love you, we wouldn't punish you. Because if you didn't love him, you wouldn't care. But then he always reverts back to, well, my mom loves me and she didn't punish me. And then it's like, well, she didn't she love, didn't love you, because, you. Yeah, and then, he, well, she did love me. She bought me things. and I wouldn't uh, give him a phone right now, mostly because he could get in contact with real mom. But um, I would say if you would allow him to have electronics, get him, like, a mini iPad, but put parental con- control locks on it so he can't go on certain things. Like, you you can lock um certain things you don't want him to go on. Like, you can get him educational games or, like, fun games that are, like, clean and good for the mind. Um, Like, I wouldn't allow him to get messages or um the phone call on the iPad because that's the one way ticket to him getting in contact with real mom. I definitely, because my love language is gifts, and so every time I got a gift, I felt I felt special. All about once once you're in the foster care, your love language changes. So if I was you, I would learn his love language and try to do that more so you could earn his trust faster. Yeah, my mom's trying to plan the next trip. So maybe my family, because we have six adopted kids. So maybe, like, we could take a trip to your place and, like, talk to him about, like, our stories and stuff. So that might make him, like, more acknowledgement to, like, what's going on. Good night. I wish you luck. All right. Thank you. Bye.